Hello everyone and welcome to another stamina video! This is really late in the session. I usually play only about an hour or so per session because I'm really pushing hard on stuff, but I was like, you know what? Let's do a little experiment. You guys, you know how I have that tendency of hitting early when I'm very tired? I was like, okay, I'm gonna push myself extra hard and, well, maybe it's not that extra hard, but it, <laughs> it you know, it's, it's harder than a, a usual session, I guess you could say. So, I decided, okay, I'm gonna play something very, very streamy, but yet semi-maintainable. Just to see how things turn out overall on my timing, okay? Okay, so I chose Incomplete here. It's a very, very awesome song. It's got three sections. Now, like, the first one starts at 32, then the second one is double the first section, and then the third one is triple the first section, so... It just, you know, it, it continually tires you out further on as <laughs> you go into it, so... It seemed to be the perfect choice for this experiment. And I was pretty happy with my score overall, actually. I mean, yeah, I did end up tending to hit early. Like, like, I just tend to do it, I'm tired, but I still stayed within that fantastic window for the most part, so... <laughs> I, I can't, can't complain too much about that, but... What I am trying to look to do is try and keep myself within the fantastic window, no matter how tired I am. If that is possible. Because, <laughs> you know, the more tired you are, the harder it is to concentrate and stuff like that, which may very well be the issue with my hitting early type dealio, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... As long as I'm staying within the range, though, I, I guess I can get away with it, so to speak. Like, as you see, I'm hitting far more Fantastics than I am Excellence. Well, maybe that... maybe not that far much more, but still, you know, it's a decent ratio, I would say, so... <laughs> so... When you're this tired, how do you keep yourself going, anyway? Well, what you could do is lean more on the back bar, you know, to take more weight off your feet. But then your arms get tired and you have to shift back over to the feet. But you might find that, like, if you keep switching between putting your weight on the back bar and your feet multiple times throughout the song, you may find it easier to keep going for a longer time because you give one section of your body a bit of a break while the other one is working harder, and vice versa, so that's one tip I guess I could give you if you're trying to keep yourself going as long as possible, basically. <laughs> also, you should always try and play as relaxed as possible, too, because when you're playing tense, not very energy conservative. It's like, body, stiff to move, force. Movement and yeah, then use excess energy because of that. And with these breaks in the middle here, it's just like oh, you can just kind of relax there, just relax, recover your energy because it just gets longer and longer with the streams as you go. You notice that these breaks are very, very similar in their step patterns. There, well, I shouldn't say step patterns. Their step density on the graph there. See the pat? Yeah. So, as, as a result of that, it just kind of winds down to a slow point and then gradually ramps up until you get up to about half speed, which is what we're on here. And then when it, that little counter by the R on the stream background there ends, we are back into stream territory. And there is triple time, as I was talking about. 96 measures of doom. While I'm incredibly tired, what fun! <laughs> nah, it's always fun no matter how tired I am. I always like to see what I can push myself. And oh, calm down, Pika again. Just compose yourself. <laughs> but yeah, I always, I always try to push myself to see what I can do, and I, I think a lot of people can relate to that because it's it's just very fun to. Just try and do your absolute best, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whether it's, say, a speed run of trying to get through a game, or uh, running a marathon faster than you did before, you know, you know, that sort of thing. You just 
keep trying to go for self-improvement as you go. So, one of the things here, at least that I was considering at the time, was that maybe I should play longer sessions, you know, push myself to play longer sessions than I typically would. So, maybe I should. Perhaps I can build even more stamina that way faster. I don't know. <laughs> Just gotta play around with things and see how things work in the long run and the like, so. And yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm still uh, pretty far ahead in the Fast Fantastics category there, which is, I guess, all that you can ask for when you're pretty tired, right? <laughs> I mean, even if you're not perfectly in sync, and you're hitting early, if you're, if you're hitting the Fantastics, you're still getting the maximum point for that arrow, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you can't really complain about that, I guess. So, despite that, I, I, I guess I'm fairly decent, and as I said, I, I was pretty happy with the score, despite how tired I was, just like, you know, me trying to concentrate as best I can, and, well, here is the result of that, so you make of it what you will. <laughs> and we're done. Check out that stream. Oh, that's a pretty hard 16, especially since I played it so late in the session. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Hold on. Hold on. Can't get over that habit.